As a true ninja, you must always be with darkness. You must learn the art of ninjutsu stealth to perfection. Be a part of shadow. You must put an end to the evil shredder. Now go, my sons. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Turtles counting on one, two, three, four, turtles! You can chain reaction, turtles! Living underground, turtles! Ninjutsu action, turtles! It's a shell of a town! Fought long and hard in the war against our hated enemies, the Federation. Precious Triceraton blood has been spilt. Our glorious homeworld damaged in battle. But through our bravery and strength of arms, we forced the mighty Federation into retreat. Very soon, we shall strike at them in force and bathe ourselves in the sweet nectar of victory. Our path to triumph is clear. We must recapture this fugitoid who holds in its circuitry the mind of Professor Honeycutt. His teleportal device shall provide us with the means to crush the Federation and rule the universe once and for all. <laughs> The Fugitoid and his allies used the teleportal to escape us last time. But we have tracked the teleportal's transionic particle trail to the farthest corner of the T-17 galaxy, to an insignificant, watery, green-blue planet. Even if we must tear that pitiful world apart piece by piece, the Fugitoid will be ours. Begin the countdown to victory! 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 Um, sir, we have a problem. Uh, we have multiple bogeys. Spacecraft, sir. We're under attack from... Uh, outer space? <gasps> Aliens! against an entire invasion. We may not be able to save the world, but we sure as shell can save that old lady. Come on! What she meant was, thanks for the rescue. Inhabitants of this planet, you are now under my control and my command. I am Zan Raman, prime leader of the great and glorious Triceraton Republic. Here are demands. You will immediately surrender to us, Professor Honeycutt, a fugitoid, or face annihilation. If you give us the Fugitoid, we may spare your pathetic lives. Deny us, and you will be destroyed. You have ten Trigons to comply. There's a surprise. They're looking for the Fugitoid. 
the term oops wrong planet comes to mind. Yeah, Professor Egghead ain't on Earth no more. Judging from the tracking device they're using, the Triceratons followed the transionic residue of the transmat beam, thinking it was the Fugitoid's teleportal. But the Fugitoid's teleportal doesn't work, remember? We built it. It was a dud. So let me get this straight. The Tricera creeps are after someone who ain't even here, because they want an invention of his that don't even work? That about sums it up. Hello? Leo, guys, it's April. Casey and I are in kind of a tight spot. April, I can't hear you. Can you talk a little louder? Um, not really. We're being held by these aliens. They're big and ugly, and they stink. They've got a bunch of us here, in Central Park, and... Oh! Keep moving, you scum! Hello, April! No! They've got Casey and April. They're taking them to Central Park. Well, then why are we sitting here twiddling our shells? Let's move! I think this is where April called from. But I don't see him. Maybe the Triceratons grabbed him! Could be. Because I'm picking up residual energy traces that indicate a ship just took off for the Triceraton home base. I think. Donatello's deduction is correct. Professor Honeycutt! Professor? Why are you here on Earth? I thought you were in the Utram homeworld. It is always good to see my friends again, and I sensed danger from the Triceratons. It's good to see you again too, Professor. But we're actually in big trouble with the Triceratons. They've captured our friends. I feared this, but all they are really after is me. That is why I am here, to stop their madness. Sure, Professor. This is gonna be good. My shell is getting hot already. But how are we gonna get to Dinosaur Land? How about we take that spacecraft on the street outside the park? Okay, but let's avoid confrontation by going through the sewers. right on its back, very quietly. No problem, one stealth landing coming right up. Attack left, on my signal. No need to attack, my friends. Much as I would enjoy the rematch. Traximus? No way! Welcome to the Triceraton Rebellion. The Triceraton Rebellion? Yes. Xanraman must be overthrown to stop this insane war he started. Can't you just hold a recall election? But why are you here? Our friends are being held captive by Xanramon. We came here to save them and to help Professor Honeycutt stop the Triceratons. I see. Say, we have a plan to take him out. Can you first help rescue our friends? I will assist you. But beware, it will be a dangerous battle. Don't you worry. It'll be nothing compared to the Battle Nexus Tournament, which I won. Being annoying is his talent. But what are you gonna do with relatives? Uh, maybe I should look into whether he might be adopted. Not that I would. You came for us! I knew you'd come! Hang on while I open this door. No, it's got a security lock. This may be tricky. Is this gonna take a while? I came in a hurry and I didn't bring a comic book with me. 
Donatello, use this. It's a security hacking program I've created. Your mind will be connected to the security network and enter into a computer program where you have to eliminate the firewalls. I have made adjustments to it so you can play it as a shooting game. <laughs> Did someone say shooting game? Now this is more like it! Oh, shell. Professor, don't give Mikey games to play with. This is not a game. The damage you take inside the computer will reflect your physical conditions in the real world, so be careful. Behold! I'm the space cowboy of the universe! <laughs> hey, boys! Can you keep up with me or what? Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad you're all right. We should get going. We need to get to a dock so you can catch a space cruiser out of here. Well, I'm glad that April and Casey are on their way back to Earth. Man, I wanted to fly that space cruiser. Yeah, right. With you as pilot, who knows where they would have ended up. Now it's my turn to play a game. I'm going to bring down the Triceratons military system with a fatal virus. Let's head to the control room. I am uploading an extremely destructive virus to cripple their military system. The problem is that it may take a while. I need you to cover me while I work on the system. I have completed uploading the virus. With their military powers crippled, they will have to learn new ways of diplomacy. To live in harmony with others. All the Triceraton ships are out of their control. Not only can't they attack Earth, they can't even move! Now, we need to go kick San Ramon's butt to finish the job. Yup, time for the superheroes to finish off the villain! But stay alert, San Ramon is still dangerous. Show yourself. It's time for you to step down, Zanraban. The Triceraton world needs to change. Step, step down? down? You traitor! You might want to reconsider your position after seeing this. Now, prepare to be crushed down to nothing. Terrible the alien and your traitorous scum.
let this be a symbol of things to come. From this day forward, none shall sit upon the throne of the Triceratons. The Senate shall be reinstated and the Republic reborn. For too long this senseless war has cost us our honor and the lives of our finest soldiers. Let a new age begin! Draximus, our forces have completed the rescue efforts. The Federation troops are being brought onto the homeworld as we speak. We will treat them as allies and our guests until we deliver them safely to the Federation as our first gesture of peace. It will be done. For the portal, a device intended to bring people together, an invention to be used for peace, but instead it has become the prize in an insane and never-ending war. It is because of me that this insane war has come to this planet, and so it is left to me to put things right. Now I beg the Federation and Triceraton forces to hear me. The plans for the teleportal are gone. Sir, it's on all frequencies! Huh? No! What's happening? many adversaries, we have fought many battles, and we have been victorious, but do we know why? Because shall we're good! <laughs> uh, sorry, Sensei. <clears throat> we have survived these many trials and tests by following the path of ninjutsu, and by finding and using... Our inner strength? Yes, Leonardo. Only by focusing on our inner strength can we overcome our enemies. Hmm? Michelangelo, where is your focus? Um, right over there, Sensei. In the pool. What the shell are those things? Ground Force to Night Sky, the packages have been delivered. Roger, Ground Force. Stand by. Proceed. Master Splinter! Don, what's the matter with him? It's these! The sound! I cannot block it out! We need to get him out of here! Now! Man, I'm hearing it up here, too! There seems to be some kind of sonic disruption throughout the entire city. And though it doesn't appear to bother humans, it's clearly targeted to other species. Like rats. Beginning sweep for mobile mutated genetic signatures. Right there, sir. Looks like our target. Intercept them. Night Sky to ground force. Operation Mousetrap is go. I repeat, Mousetrap is go. We got missiles incoming! Duh!
target acquired, sir. Finding Master Splinter from those weird sounds? I'm tracing the source of the sounds back to their origin. Got it! Where is he? Hold on. Okay, he's somewhere in the warehouse district near the Brooklyn Bridge. There seems to be a passage going underground from there. So I guess we visit the Brooklyn Bridge, huh? That's right. You're catching on quick for a change, Mikey. Okay, let's get going, guys. We're on our way, Sensei. They're gonna regret picking a fight with us. Master Splinter! We have to get him out of there, now! Sorry, my sons. No need for an apology, Sensei. I'm just glad you're safe. Dramatic father and son reunion. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Shut up, Mikey. I'm amazed you made it this far, but we finally meet in person. Although I know you turtles very well. Who the shell are you? If it makes you feel more comfortable, my name is Bishop. Why are you after us? Allow me to explain. I work for the EPF, the government's secret organization that was created to protect Earth in moments of unexpected crisis. EPF? I'm the Battle Nexus champion and nobody told me about this? There are monsters and aliens hiding in our world. My job is to find them and figure out how to eliminate them. But you turtles are unique specimens. It has been worth the effort to obtain samples. Samples? What do you mean? With your unique DNA, I will be able to create super soldiers that will be capable of fighting against all manner of monsters and aliens. As a token of my respect, you will be test subjects for my latest lab creation. Let's see how long you last. <laughs> My years of research! Bishop, you failed! No one can act as God! I don't want to hear it. My research will still continue! The world does not need any more monsters, especially yours! Yeah, even heroes need days off! I'm doing a favor for this world. Research is my duty. I see. The odds have changed. But I never play against odds. Good day to you. Please stay alive, my precious DNA samples. <laughs> Whoa! What the shell? Bishop is gonna blow this place up! We gotta get out of here, now! See him again. Such men are hard to destroy.
hey, let's use these to chase him down. Mr. Mayor, members of the press, in recent weeks, I have been called the savior of the city. In all modesty, I am merely a man fortunate enough to possess the means to jumpstart the rebuilding of this great city. My salvage and construction crews will lead the way in restoring New York to a shining palace. The name of the game is Ninjutsu Stealth and Heightened Senses, or as we like to call it, Hide and Seek! Something's going down in the park. Can't quite make out what it... Whoa. Triceratons? Uh, Don? Some kind of foot activity. Let's check it out. It's some kind of salvage operation. Look at all that alien tech they're grabbing. Something's not right. Yeah, they're cleaning everything up. No, I mean... Something's not right. Foot Ninja! Good! I could use a workout! Roger that, Sky Patrol 1. Hey! Since when do police choppers patrol foot operations? Uh, guys? Can someone please tell me what the shell that was all about? Two words. Alien technology. Right, tons of it lying around after the big invasion. And apparently, Shredder's got all the salvage rights. And the police are helping him? Throw enough scratch at this city and you can make all kinds of new friends. Whatever Shredder's up to with that alien tech, it can't be any good. The question is, how can we stop him? The old wooden clog in the machine. Sabotage. You mean, break stuff? Now you're talking words I understand. Those footcopters we saw earlier were headed towards the waterfront. Let's check it out. Down there, foot. They're industrious little monkeys, I'll give them that. So that's what they're after. The tri-base power core. It doesn't look so dangerous to me. Are you kidding? There's enough juice in that thing to wipe out the entire city. And most of New Jersey, too. <laughs> Break. Are you out of your shell? Those sparking Karai bots just fell into a room full of Triceraton explosives! Chaplin reports that all starship systems are nominal. Congratulations. Tonight will be your last night on Earth. After centuries of being imprisoned on this primitive backwater, I will finally return to the stars. When my Utram enemies return here to imprison me, I will be gone. And when they least expect it, I will be at their throats. Now see to our guests. This is a celebration, not a wake. Yes, Master. It's my father's way of saying thank you and farewell. Planning a little trip? A little outer space mayhem, perhaps? Oh. Not if we have oh. anything to say about it. Your evil ends here and now, Shredder. 
shall relish destroying. <laughs> Chaplain, prepare the ship. We must launch immediately. Opening emergency launch doors. I'll be right back with that, ma'am. You must not do this. He is finally leaving our world. You must let him go. Let him go to destroy and enslave the Utrams? The Utrams have hunted my father all his life. They are heartless monsters. No, Karai, that's not true. He's lied to you. He's the heartless monster, and I'm gonna stop him. Leonardo, no! I won't let you get in the way of my master's plan! Oh, run! Hey, look! There's an elevator! Let's take it down to the rocket's launch pad! We can't let Treader escape! Ignition! the shredder and pay our respects. Karai! What? You came to stop us so your daddy won't get mad at you? Karai, please. The Shredder can't go to outer space. He'll just cause more destruction. I am duty-bound to serve the Shredder always. Looks like this rocket is on autopilot straight to its destination. Let's do whatever we can to stop it. We have to stop Shredder here. Or innocent people all over the galaxy will suffer in his hands. I'm ready to go down with the ship if we have to. The time has come to avenge Master Yoshi! But how? Well, the ship's engines create a lot of power. And depending on how we use it... Could probably cause quite an explosion. But we'd get toasted! And so would the Shredder. He'd get vaporized with us. But my sons, this is too much to ask. It's okay, Sensei. We all feel the same. We have to get rid of him once and for all. Then let us finish this together. Marshmallows? You're going up in smoke right here, right now. It's like the 4th of July. Except it's Independence Day from you, Shredder. Like the fireworks. This is the end of your day, Shredder. My Master Yoshi will finally be avenged. You meddling mutants. I'll stop this by ripping you to pieces. You might beat some of us, but not all of us. Prepare to be finished, Shredder. Let's do this.
close in on Honeycut's signal, but we sense the destruction of the Evil One ship is imminent. We can delay no longer. Repair the exosuits and transmat aboard immediately. Commander, all is in order. Agreed. To the transmat now. And activate the stasis bubble immediately. Mr. Mortu, sir, collapse of the stasis bubble is imminent. It will not hold. Transmat the turtles and Master Splitter to the infirmary immediately. Send this scum to the holding cells, along with their accomplice on the bridge. Yes, sir. Transmatting now. sentient beings. In the name of the great lawgiver, Mathis Arliss, this tribunal is now called to order. We sit in judgment over Cherell for war crimes and atrocities committed throughout the galaxy. Cherell, also known as Torinon, Kako Naso, Duke Akureds, Orofusaki, and the Shredder. Prepare to face the following charges. be known that as Dolph Ett has testified, you did willingly launch an attack on the planet Enifgold. Over one million innocent inhabitants perished. And as Wanron Opo has proven, you incited and funded a civil war on Enol II in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. 3.2 million perished. Finally, your crimes against the Utram homeworld include multiple attempts to take control of the government through an illegal and violent coup. We will now commune upon the verdict. of the great lawgiver. This tribunal finds you, Cherell, guilty. <laughs> Ouch. Cherell, you are hereby sentenced to eternal exile on the ice asteroid Morgal Tal. <sighs> you are not fit to judge me. I am the Shredder. I am invincible. I, I, no. May your actions haunt you forever. As for the Shredder's comrades, they shall be returned to Earth and handed over to the proper authorities. This is not what I wanted, Leonardo. This is not what I wanted! We all owe you a debt of gratitude. The Shredder has finally been brought to justice. Is it really over? No more Shredder? Yes, my sons. My Master Yoshi's spirit can finally rest in peace. The Shredder is finished. No!
fallen tribase, and the foot are already here. Let's see if we can slow down their salvage operation permanently. Excuse me, may I have your attention, please? It is with heavy heart that I stand here today to say goodbye to one of the greatest men I've ever known. Oroku Saki, the man single-handedly responsible for restoring the great city of New York to its full glory, is leaving us. I would like you to put your hands together and show this fine man how much we are truly going to miss him. You are too kind. Thank you. As my good friend, the mayor, has just reminded us, this is a farewell dinner. My way of saying thank you and goodbye. Fortune has smiled on me in many ways. The opportunity to rectify certain matters at home has now presented itself, and I must go. In my absence, my lovely daughter Karai will handle all my business affairs. I assure you, she is more than capable. The city has been good to me. It is my adopted home. I hope someday to return. Donnie, it's hard to believe you actually traveled through time like that. I know, April. It's wild, isn't it? But it really was the year 1406, and we were there. All because of the Time Scepter. Well, anything's possible. I think Uncle Augie's artifact taught me that. I know. I was going over some of your uncle's calculations, and... Huh? I think we're having an earthquake! Nothing's happening over here. <laughs> Master Splinter, what's going on? We've seen that kind of energy before. Draco! And the Damyo Sun. This is what we told you about, Master Splinter. They merged somehow, combined together. All into one ugly package. We told you we would return. We told you we would have our revenge. Revenge this, whackbag! As if you could simply fight us. We control time and space with Lord Simultaneous's Time Scepter. We are unbeatable. Someone quick! Grab the... Now we will have our vengeance. Leonardo, destroy him first. No, we agreed. The rat first, then Adamio, your father. Then Leonardo. They will all pay, all of them. Yes. All of them will learn the meaning of suffering beyond time and space. Ah! Ah! Man, that was rough. Is everybody all right? I think so. Where are we anyways? Home sweet home, I think. What a mess. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare world. Draco, what are you up to this time? I'll show you what a real nightmare is. <laughs> hey, Rav, when will this be over? Don't ask me. Oh, don't bother asking me either. Shh, I sense something. Seeing you suffer. It was such a pleasure. Now I'll show you my true powers. Feel my wrath. Come fight me. Where the heck did you guys go? I've been looking for you for at least ten minutes. You guys been goofing on me. <laughs> Is this some kind of game like Hide and seek or something? Yeah, something like that. Let's just say that it's good to be home.
Mikey, I keep telling you you need more practice. Put the chips in the remote control down once in a while and practice your ninja skills. Donnie, your form is good, but you're too predictable. Ninjas sometimes need to improvise. Raph, did you ever hear the saying, mind over muscle? What counts is the daily training of your mind, not brute force. Go, go on! Casey, you're about as sneaky as a rhino. You need some ninja stealth training. Sensei, I can't get enough training with my brothers. Can you spar with me? Yes, Leonardo. <laughs> You still need much more practice as well, my son. Here I come! <laughs> Mr. Bishop, uh, I have a question. What is it? I've played this role for a long time now, but I'm having difficulties with this character I play. How do you do it? Teach me your secrets. Here's what I learned. First, you have to create your own special physical expressions. In your case, you tend to frown most of the time. This makes your character too one-dimensional. Try this. Like this? No, like this. Like this? Hmm. Somehow this doesn't seem right. No, no, you're doing it well. Keep trying. Hey, it's no laughing matter. I'm just trying to improve my acting. Perfect. You got it. See? You can do it. The camera was rolling? Yikes. If my fans see me like this, they'll be so disappointed. Uh, make sure you cut this part. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, hi everyone. Did you enjoy my break dancing? No, perhaps you prefer hip hop? Uh, guys, you're scaring me. <laughs>
So, what do you think of the Turtles game I made? Wow, this is awesome! But why is it just you, Don? Because the game is called the best of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Leah, I have something for you. Really? It's quiet in here. Yeah. I've always wanted this ring. Is this real? I can't believe it. A bit too quiet. <laughs> So we have uh, known each other for a while now, right? You're courageous, stubborn, boyish. Uh... Is that a compliment? Sure, honey. Ah! Uh! I got kissed uh! by Casey. Oh, gross! Uh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>